Hi all, welcome to Python for Data Science tutorial on Dude Velcro. This session is on keywords and identifiers in Python programming language. So let's get started. Python keywords are reserved words. So what do you mean by reserved words? They have got its own meaning. You cannot reuse them. That is, we cannot use a keyword as a variable name, function name, or any other identifier. For example, few of the keywords are listed here like false, true, else, input, etc. There are many more keywords we will see as we proceed in our sessions. So say for example, false is a keyword. You cannot use that false as your variable name or your function name or your class name. You cannot use it as an identifier. So they have got its own meaning. The reusability of keywords is restricted. Now all the keywords except true, false and none are in lowercase and must be written as they are. These keywords are used to define the syntax and structure of Python language. Now let's see about identifiers. Identifiers are name given to entities like variable, function, class, etc. There are certain rules that you have to follow when you use identifier. Identifiers can be a combination of letters. They could be either in lowercase or in uppercase. You could also include digits or even underscore as a identifier. For example, number, number underscore one, number one are all valid identifier. You could use these as your variable name or your function name or class name, etc. The next rule is you cannot start an identifier with a digit. For example, if I say zero number, that is an invalid identifier. Let me show you this with a Python notebook. So I set an identifier. You could include both numbers and digits and underscore. So if I say number, this is a valid identifier. If I'm using this as a variable name, number equal to 10, number is the variable here. So this is a valid identifier. We'll discuss in detail about variables, how to use variables in the coming sessions. As of now, please stick on to the rules of using identifiers. But the same identifier, if I write it as zero number, if I say zero number equal to 10, and if I run this, I end up with an error. It's a invalid syntax. So you should never use an identifier starting with a number. This is not permitted. The next rule is keywords cannot be used as identifiers. We spoke this a minute before that identifiers cannot be used as keywords. For example, Lambda is a keyword in Python. So if I'm trying to use this as a variable name, I'll end up with an error. Let me show this with a notebook. So if I say Lambda equal to 10. You could see the color change here. Whenever you use keywords, the color will be changed. So lambda is coming in green. That means it's a identifier or it's a keyword in Python. So if I try to run this, you could see again, it's ending up with a syntactical error. So you cannot use a keyword as your identifier. The next rule is we cannot use special symbols in our identifier. For example, if I say number at the rate one, if I'm trying to use this as an identifier, that is, if you try to use this as your variable name or your function name or class name, etc., you will end up with that error. The same error what we have seen previously, it will say that it's an invalid syntax. This is not permitted. The last rule, an identifier can be of any length. So keep these points in mind whenever you use an identifier. So this is about identifiers and keywords in Python programming language. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload our new videos. Thank you.